and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. Yeah, Carlin Brothers Box Breakers! The full thing every CBQ, time, no one says CBQ. CBQ. We are now officially in season five, episode two. Episode two, that's right. We have uh, we have exciting stuff that has already happened in the first episode of the season, including the team leaderboard, which team grass or salad energy, mm -hmm. as we like to call it, is absolutely dominating with a total of 83 points. Yeah, um, meanwhile, electric down at 22. Pick it up, you guys. I know, just a little bit. So we, we're, we're on the lookout today for electric type competitors to see whether or not they can step up their game. But otherwise, let's dive on in. Let's do it. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is time for the Wheel of Energy! Oh man, man, so I was reviewing uh, the, our stacks of cards where I've been sorting things and I have discovered that Grass and, or Salad and Eyeball are the highest volume Pokemon in the set. So that'll be good for the point spread if we can okay, land on okay, one of them. Okay. Are you ready? Let's do it. You have a good spin. Really solid spin. Mm. Super solid spin. Where are we gonna land today? It is. Oh, oh it is indeed salad. salad energy. So I'm expecting a lot of points to flood the board today. Lots of points. Not to mention. Be not also, to mention. Wait a minute. Oh no. I can change this. It's happening. It's happening. No. Not to mention, while he's back there doing whatever nonsense this whole thing is about, I guarantee the whole thing's gonna come off the wall one day, and it's just gonna be. It's gonna be a thing, and we're gonna have to pick up all the skateboards, and we're just gonna have a brick wall back there, and they're kind of reflective bricks, which is kind of weird because bricks aren't always reflective. Anyway, can you tell them about the randomly chosen common chase cards? The randomly cho common. Nailing it. <laughs> Na truly, I, th I think it's this yes, that threw you, you off. <laughs> the rib. <laughs> The randomly chosen common chase cards for today are going to be Fuicoco, Smoliv, and Floatzel. I like to call them Fuicoco. 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 The easily optimal, optimum starter. Oh, oh, good. You know, good absolutely. to know. Okay, okay. Yeah. If you chose one of the other ones, like, that's adorable, but no. Wrong. But, 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 but wrong. But no. Oh, yeah. the other thing, of course, to keep in mind as well is Nest. Uh, Nest Ball. Nest Ball. Is worth two points, so be on the lookout for those. Without any further ado, Let's break a box. Let's do it! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Put it into pro mode. Fun mode. Fun mode. Bang. Engaged. Engaged. I just love that they go through the extra effort, you know? Just to make it that much more, that much more fun. I know, right? So good. All right, Ben, our first contestant on the day is Lauren! From Team e Echeltricity. From Team Echeltricity. Yes, Echel exactly. Echeltricity, which has a cumulative score at the moment of, of 22. So, uh, um, Team Electricity, Echeltricity, looking for a big score from Lauren here. Let's see if she can pull it out. All right, so we have our energy card, which is going to be Teardrop. Okay. And then Dollop, so not the common chase card there. Quaxley, Pawnyard, Crushing Hammer, Vivalon, Dax, Doxbun. Oh, Dax here, but no, these guys are... Uh, oh, you're right, I'm sorry. We get the type advantage. You're right, we are scoring. Yeah, we are scoring. I okay. totally forgot. You're right. Good catch. Good thanks, thanks, thanks. All right, the Torkoal, the Rocky Helmet, the Primate does not score, but the Dondozo does. So we're going to be getting a three-point pack there out of the gate for Lauren. Okay, not a bad start. Not a bad. Nothing exciting. Nothing exciting. But you know what? That just last means week, to come. Last week we started slow and picked up energy as we went. And here's the thing: you can already see the effect of Salad Energy being the type advantage this week. There was already two in that pack. I suspect at some point after someone gets the type advantage, it is going to pop off. Somewhere. Pop off. Absolutely. Next up, Ben, we have Dockers. Dock Dockery. I'm Do sorry. No, Dockery. I Dockery. can talk well today. You, you are on. You are on a hot roll, as it were. Uh, just like butter. Just like butter. 
get it? Like a hot roll? Yeah, I'm like, I'm like a butter roll. on a hot roll. I'm gonna take but, some coffee because maybe that's yeah. the problem. There we go. Okay, so let's take a look here for old Doc. Oh, the Rock oh, is pummeling energy. Okay. A okay. good start. A good start to be sure. The Growlithe, the Shuppet. Small of, oh, double oh, points oh, there. Oh, there we go. Got the small of is gonna be like the card to get today. It is, and if, if last week was any indication, there's gonna be plenty of them. The yeah. EXP share, the Stone Journer, the Penny. The Blissey will not score. The Pokeball will not score. Um, oh, the Maridon. Uh, so there are good Maridons you can pull that'll be worth a lot of points. This is not one. This is not one. This of is them. just going to be um, a two point pack. Th three, or point. three point. Three right, point. Small yep. is there. Yep. All right, so there you go. Three point pack now. To be fair, uh, Dockery finished season three with just three points after two packs. So they're already ahead of themselves. Already? There I know. So as long as they score any points at all, which. Which has you, to be you possible. have to because yeah. there's no V-Star markers anymore, right. docking so. points. But instead we have the Nest Ball adding points this time around. Boom. All right, next up, we have got Dalton Green. Dalton Green for Team Teardrop or Water Energy. Yeah, don't be fooled. It's not for Team Green. Right, that's true. So Dalton Green on Team Blue. Right, exactly. Wow, confusing, but also kind of amazing. Indeed. All right, let's see. What is the energy going to be? Dark Teardrop. And let's Dark see what teardrop. kind of points we get here. We have LeChonk. Slowpoke, Watchful, Floatzel we'll scores, the Miriam. If we find the Alt Art Miriam, that's gonna be Things max be points. Popping off. Toad School does we'll score, score the yep. Maroom, and oh, oh, the Arcanine EX. And this is the full art one. I think this one's like a 16 point card. Let's think, wow, do you, do you just know that off the top of your head? I think head? so that's... because we pulled this the other day in office and I was like looking it up and I couldn't believe it. You are almost dead on 16, 16. Wow, so, so it's a 17. 17. 18, 19 point pack. Oh my goodness, Dalton Green. Wow, so that Coming is gonna be big for Team Water. I know, Water absolutely just saw a surge in their, in their overall points. Wow, so. good, good use of the word surge there. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Oh, yeah, cool. yeah. you have a sleeve yeah, for this sure beautiful do, yeah. Arcanine. Here we are. Love Here that card. Are. And it's one of the Terrastal Pokemon, so can't be damaged on the bench for what that's worth. It's worth a lot. I mean, if you have it on your bench. Sometimes, yeah. Probably. <laughs> All right, next up is the blue suede, so, not the band. So ironically though, so we had Dalton Green on Team Blue, and right. now we've got blue suede on oh, Team Green. Oh man, I'm gonna write down, Team Green. I'm just gonna write down, it says not the bland in parentheses, I'm gonna write down in parentheses. Rival of Dalton Green? Rival of Dalton Green. Nice. Exclamation point. Let's see, let's All see. right, oh. so let's see. Teardrop energy. Now, last time so. uh, Blue Suede had the rookie season in the Crown Zenith, and they only scored three points. Okay, okay. So yeah. now we're, we're really starting to get like a feel for what the Blue Suede has exactly. to bring to the table. Right. This 14 is their first green. full season. All right, so we got the switch. Oh, Ooh, the there we go. Scores. The scores. The Tropius scores. The Tropius scores. The Pokeball. The Ultra Ball. Espathra. <laughs> Espathra. <laughs> which sounds like it, a, it looks like an ostrich with a lisp. It it does. It, does, it reads to me like a lisp. Yeah. Once I actually accidentally, I did a front flip on a trampoline, yeah. landed, uh, bit through the middle of my tongue, and I had an aggressive lisp for the, the end of sixth grade. Um, Arvin, Wattroll will not score. The Seviper will not score. But oh, the Great Does the great GX does will! Back to back full arts. That's amazing. Let's check that out real quick. That's going to be number 230 mm -hmm. on the set. Let's take a peek about. Let's see, it's going to be worth $2.41, oh, so wow. not as so much as you would hope five. for, but My it is still goodness. an absolutely beautiful card. Man, it really is, so get a sleeve for that. That is very exciting. It's unfortunate that you got the two full arts back to back. One was worth 17 points and one only three, but nonetheless, great card. Less coming, than none. Coming at you. The rivalry, I mean, I think that point goes to Dalton Green. I think it does. Yeah, that I think round. it does, yeah. We'll be looking for a comeback next time. Let's see, season five right here. Next up, we have Josh. Josh! Josh is an IU alumni and professional IT nerd. Hey! Yeah. All right, Josh, yeah, on, on team on team Fire, now, Team Josh, Charmander. Josh has been playing for a long time, and in the five packs he's opened, he scored two, three, 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 and two. So never gotten above three points in five packs. So maybe this is uh, Josh's day. Boom, Rock is pummeling energy. Rock came, is to, pummeling. came to fight. Came Here to comes fight. the Starlight. Okay. The little the shroomish scores, the making the Scovillain scores, yep. Oinkaloni, three scores. There's the three points There's right three there. There's three points, so we're gonna at least, this is the best pack ever so far. So or just does not, Scar Starly the does not, the, Indeed. the Indeedy oh. does so. Um, outdoes himself to the tune of four points. Four points, so it's like, it's like, I'm making a point today, but making not a, a point more than that. Exactly, one point more than usual 
for uh, Josh. Never. Hey, you know what? Improvement is improvement. Improvement is. You yeah, absolutely. And improvement scales. So we'll have to keep an eye on Josh moving well. forward. Next up, Ben, for Team Electric, it's Sammy. Sammy, possibly my sister-in-law, but yeah, also we haven't possibly not. Yet. I know. Yeah, I have to, I have to give. Have to give old Samwise does, a call does after Sammy this. Does Sammy sound is she someone who likes anime K-pop and got into Pokemon because of the Nuzlocks? Well, no. Oh. <laughs> this might be a different Sammy. It could be a different Sammy. It could be a different Sammy. Okay, let's see with the with the fireball energy. Ooh, no so time, bringing the bringing the heat. No uh, type advantage yet. No type yet, but which means it's coming as ever. So the Prime Ape, the Palmy, the Tarantula scores. Score. Riolu will not score. The Medicham, the Quaxwell, uh, Cyclozar. Yep. Nice. Slow bro, love the artwork, and that one will score. Yes, it does. The Sandile will not score, and the Halucha Halucha will does. score. All right, so there we go. Three point pack. Three point pack. A beautiful slow bro. Yeah, absolutely. You know, got that reverse hollow action going on, and so nice, congratulations uh, on that a one. A nice playable Halucha when it comes into the game. It can place damage counters on your opponent's bench. That's always a powerful ability. Unless it's a. Unless it's a Terrastal Pokemon. Which is what I was going to say, exactly. Actually, yeah, precise, no. Even because still? Terrastal can't take damage, but this would be placing damage counters, which is different, so you could still damage it with this, it. This feels like, this is mm, like a, technicality. Yeah, mm, technicality. This is one that it really takes people a while to catch up with. But um, yes, indeed, that is how it would work. All right, next up we have Margo, and they had an excellent rookie season, Ben. Uh, and they're playing for Team Grass, who's already in the lead. But last season, Margo scored 37 points with their one pack ever and if they outdo themselves today they will be in first place so margo no doubt was a rookie of the day has to be has to have been has right? to have been okay so we'll see let's see sometimes like you know we got like a rookie on scene right ready to do battle all right let's see bam oh man i really thought margo might have pulled the the, the salad energy uh oh, but no oh, such and you did the, i did the thing you did backwards. the thing backwards so there's your rare card it's a rever room a rever room congratulations that, that will score scores. and let's just do it this way now we'll do it this way. Well, we go, yeah. What more points can Margo get so far? Nothing too crazy to write home about. Double Zangus in here. Two no grass Zangus. types whatsoever. Oh, but oh my gosh! Margo might be the MVP of the entire game so far. This is the rarest card in the set. This is the, the most valuable card. That's the Miriam we were talking about wow. earlier. I pulled this earlier and I was like, well, sorry, we already know it's not a rare one. But we did not take into account the fact that the... Uh, <laughs> The trainer gallery spot is actually where the rarest card is. So this is the Miriam we were so talking about. I want to Team Grass is basically just doubling their their overall team score collectively Ooh, right now. That's insane. Very impressive. That Miriam is worth $75.41. 76 points. So plus the Rever Room is 77, which makes Margo maybe the most competitive player this game has ever seen. Yeah, yeah, that's the yeah. best. I think that's the best average. Pull rate at that we've that we've ever had. Yeah, that's insane. So let's go ahead and get a sleeve for yes, this. Yes, absolutely. That is an amazing card. I'll have you guys know that Big Steve in real life, even though he only got 12 points in this game, has pulled this card twice in no, real life. Only only Big Steve. Only Big Steve could do it like that. You never know what you're gonna get with that guy. I'm sure he would have loved to have pulled it in this game, but instead, Margo pulls the Miriam and goes into a commanding first place. Congratulations, Margo. I feel like I, I said it ahead of time and was like, it's, there's no way that they're gonna get more than 37 points, and I was wrong. Uh, you were wrong. Mateus was previously coming into the day in first place with 30 points overall, so that's more than doubled it. Wow. So, wow. Impressive Margo. It is on. Next up is Anna. Anna. All right, here we go. Anna came uh, out of last season with just three points, so hopefully doing a little bit better. Um, let's see. On Anna's card, it says she did something insane in high school that she's still known for, but won't say what it is. But that's okay, because she's known for it. I think she's known for it, yes. Echotricity yes. energy. Echotricity, okay, so we got the Rotom to match. We got yep. the Pal Pad, the Flabebe, the Toxel. Oh, the Cacturn, Cacturn scores. Oh, the Cacturn will score. Good save, good yep. save. Uh, the Drift Blim, Cyclozar. Uh, will not the Zangoose will not and the that Arbeliva will, does score. It will score twice. So score twice, three so. points on the on the pack there. So nothing terribly exciting, but always better luck next time. Indeed, this is another this is another just consistent player, Anna. That's uh, the third three point pack they've pulled historically. That being said, though, I think that let's see. Last week we had as many as seventeen people only score one point. Right. Uh, and so that means you're already like practically way ahead of the pack. Practically way ahead of the pack. That puts you. And at the very least, uh, the top 23 players. So there you go. 
All right, next up we have Chrysara. Chrysara. Chrysara is a black belt, so hoping, hoping maybe for the raucous pummeling energy. But probably, probably. But also, we probably prefer the salad energy. You know, sometimes I feel like there's probably like a little bit of strategy there. Oh, oh no well, there's the electricity the anyway. Yeah, there it is. All right, there's the Char Cadet, the Capsicid scores, the Buizel, the Kilwatrel, the Heracross scores, the Crocodile does not electric generator. Nice card. Ooh, Ooh. our Grievard and the Klefki, which is a very playable card as well. Some J points there as there well. There you go. Yeah. Great. Yes. Yeah, so okay. we have at least um, four points. But let's see what the Grievard is let's worth. Let's see what the Grievard is. I do love the artwork on that. There's oh a little gosh. like Gengar, like a little like pillow, pillow, and like a little, little glim pillow. Yeah, that's so oh, cute. so cute. Let's see. Number two fourteen is gonna be worth three dollars eighty one cents. All right. Round up to four, oh. four, five, six, seven point pack. That is very solid. And we'll grab you a sleeve there for the Grievard. Sure the electric generator as well is also extremely competitive. So. And as is the Klefki. So overall, about as good a pack as you could hope for. Especially if you're playing, yeah. which maybe now you should. Maybe now you should. Give it some serious contemplation. Indeed. Next up, we have Emerald Phoenix. Emerald. Emerald, another highly consistent player. They've come in, uh, they've had seasons 3-3-3 three, three, three on season three. They finished last season with 11 points, so that was pretty solid. Okay. Let's and see what eyeball can energy do here. There. Eyeball, nice. No one gonna get the salad. Not yet. yet. Which yeah, means they're in there. Means they're, they're in there. there. Yeah. Okay, we got the Magneton, the Claw, Claw Witzer, Witzer, the Grievard. So that we just got the altar of that one there. Yep. The Mastiff, the Toad School score, the score, the Mousehold. Yep. Okay. Vitality Band, uh, the Foretress. 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 Yeah. Uh, will not score. The rare candy will not score, but oh, the Arcanine, Arcanine will Arcanine. score! So this is the more basic version of the Arcanine EX that we saw earlier, so unlikely to be um, that 17 point kind of value. If I had to guess, we're probably down to like the $2 range or something. That is about correct. Yeah, $1.49. Mm -hmm. I, I almost feel like we'd start a new game where you just guess how many points they're worth, <laughs> and, then we, and then we compare. There we go. I do love this Pokemon though, Mousehold. It evolves from a Pokemon called Tandemouse, and its evolution um, mechanics in the game are adorable. It's just one day you'll open the game and they'll have um, evolved. That is really fun. Because they reproduced, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like, it's not like a dump, bump, Yeah, boom, it's bump. not like, yeah, you don't watch it happen, you don't like level them up to a certain point, they'll need, need a certain move, it's just like, if you have them, they'll just do it. That is a pretty funny game Yeah, mechanic. it's a really I, I love funny that. one. So it goes from Tandem Mouse to Mousehold. So, that's pretty great. Um, next up, we have Earth. Earth! Just Earth, the actual planet Earth playing, and fittingly, they're on Team Salad. So there's that. Now, Earth last season only got uh, two points in their uh, debut rookie, or their the, in their rookie debut. Okay, okay. So let's see if they can do more uh, this time around. If I can get this pack open, my goodness. Here we go. Earth, bam, we're gonna go. Ooh, the fireball Ooh, energy. Fireball so we're still waiting. Still, still Fuel Coco waiting scores. Yeah, yeah. Tropia scores. Good Pokeball, start off. Rotom, Youngster, Flaffers, Blissey, Grimer, the Toad School scores, and the Houndstone will score. Uh, yeah, so yeah. looks so like four, four points, points total. Four points overall. Playing with lots of the uh, lots of the game mechanics there, which is great. That is good. Again, they doubled their score from last season already, so they're already at four points. Well underway for a great season! That's right, you never know. You never know when you're gonna pull that Miriam, unless you're Margo. Alright, next up then we have Razi the King! Oh, and this okay. is our first contender for Rookie of the Day. <gasps> okay, hang on, let me put my notes over here. Let me put my notes. Alright, so Razi has been a fan since the Fire Red Nuzlocke and is getting married in July! Oh, hey, congratulations! Congratulations to Razi, that's amazing! Well, hopefully you can give your fiancé just the most beautiful Pokemon card out of this pack. That, wouldn't that be incredible? That'd be so great. Oh my gosh, we got the Ralts right off the top, the Growlithe, the Tandem Mouse, the Shuppet, the Defiance Band, the Tatsu. Oh, the nest ball scores! Hey, the nest ball will score two whole points. Uh, the Growlithe will not score. Uh, the Ar 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 Rouge. Armor Rouge. Armor Rouge does score. Will score as well as the Cyclozar. Bam! So that's a four-point pack. A four-point pack. Pretty good, and that's uh, at the moment our leader for Rookie of the Day. So yes, and as a reminder, uh, overall this this nest ball is a unique occasion for us because it is just an uncommon type, meaning just as a diamond, but it is in fact worth two points. Yeah, so that's sort of our fun season mechanic. Every Every now and then something like this will happen if it's like a particularly competitive card. The Drizzile from many sets ago was like this. It was uncommon, but if you wanted a bunch, it was gonna cost you. Because <sighs> you needed to run four. The same thing happens to the Nest Ball. You need four. <laughs> there you go. All right, so four points. That's good enough for Rookie Day. Did you write that down? I sure did. did. All right, moving on. Then we got Bobby with two Ys. Bobby! They both where you'd expect them. Two Bs, all three Bs, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> also all where you'd expect. Them. Also where you are. <laughs> all right, Bobby came in last season as a rookie. It looks like maybe they were competing for some sort of, uh, they were competing for Big Steve. Yeah, yep, I believe yep. so, yep. I don't think they got it, but uh, put up a good showing. If you want Big Steve this season, you need to be landing at that 12 point mark. So plenty of people still in contention for that. But of course, this is only uh, most people's first pack where Steve has already opened three. All three, yes. Yeah. So in case you're wondering, Steve's score will not change anymore for the rest of the season. Right, so, so we know what we're aiming for. So if you go above 12, you'll be out of it. But, um, or I guess at this point, you could go all the way up to 13 because no one's up. Uh, no one's up there either. No one's there yet, yeah. So, we'll see how it goes. We'll keep track of it for you. Lechonk, Slowpoke, Wattrell, Flamigo, the Fortress, the Rocky Helmet, the Annihilate does score. The Marie will not. Ooh, and then we have the Magnazone EX. The Magnazone. Oh, excellent. All right, let's take a look at the Magnazone. Number 65 on the set as we scroll our way down. I feel like we've pulled this one. Just a single 76 cents. Oh my gosh, so just a two point pack. A Even two though you get pack. that nice full art coming your way, we'll throw that in a sleeve for you. We sure will protected on its way. Congratulations. Either which way, it's still a really cool looking card. Yes, it is. And Bang. you can always frame it, take a picture of you holding that framed photo, and we will feature it here on the show. We absolutely know? will. Uh, next up is Elizabeth. Pro possibly my wife, although I can see her last name and it's actually not. <laughs> can so. you imagine if your wife Beth had just decided to like become a patron of the show and not tell us at all? <laughs> that would make me so happy. That would be so funny. Um, now Elizabeth last season, uh, did she only in her single pack manage a 40 point pack. So that's pretty good. And before that, in season three, she had 17 points. So she has been putting up some big numbers. Put up, so we got the teardrop energy right out the bat, even though she's on grass type. So, yeah. you know, there's that. We got the Wiglet, yeah, the Pawniard. Yeah, Pawniard. Okay. Uh, the Toad, Toad School, School scores. Score, the Sand Dial, the Toxtricity, the Crocolore. Yep. Okay. Look, the Clawitzer will not score. Uh, the Squawfit will not score, but the oh, Toxicroak the Toxic will! does score! Although I have to say, Toxicroak feels like bulk EX. We shall see. It does feel that way. We'll take a look. No matter what. 76 cents as oh, well! Oh my gosh, so just a two point pack just after a all that. single 76 cents. But you can see the competitive spirit Elizabeth has there, still pulling the full art, even though it didn't get any points. The, the ever elusive, valuable rare her Exactly, full You're right, yes. Of course, of course. All right, let's see. Who do we have next on the day? It's Alicia May. Alicia May. Uh -oh, Alicia May came to play for Rookie of the Day. Hey, oh, you almost did it too. Oh, that was great. Too. Oh my gosh, Alicia May. Okay. All right. Let's All see. right. Let's see, so we're going for four points, or higher than four, four five or higher to get um, yes, Rookie so we, of the Day. Yeah, Rosie currently has four. Yeah. Okay, so Alicia also has the same birthday as Peter Parker, and I don't know about you, but I've never seen the two of them in the same room together, so it's possible Alicia is Spider-Man. Likely. Even. Even the May. Yeah. Look at that. Right. The May. May. Wow. May. It's right in Subtle. the name. Subtle. Subtle Alicia. It's like, in this particular yeah. universe, it's Aunt May, who is yeah. Spider-Man. Oh my gosh. What if she pulls the Spidops? That'd be amazing. <gasps> I bet that's gonna happen. Okay, okay. I'm going to aggressively call my shot. Here we go. We're all hoping for it. We're all like hoping if for it. If this is a spy ops, Alicia May Spider-Man confirmed. Confirmed. Could it be? Eyeball energy. Eyeball energy. All right, the towel pad. The we still haven't bay. had. I know, not a single person has gotten the uh, the salad or just Florigato. Flaffers, the Dolive, and the King Gambit. Oh. Okay, maybe Alicia's not Spider-Man. You know, in my head, in, in my head, Alicia still is. So I'm still, not. I'm not. I'm not sold on this. So just yet. So three points overall. Three points overall. So not going to get the rookie of the day. Sadly, although look at this. I actually got the Dolive as part of it. So really going for the Olive Garden thing. Oh my but gosh! But I couldn't I know. quite get it. Um, unfortunately, it does seem like Smoliv would be the one, would be a great Pokemon to pull if you were trying to win Rookie of the Day. In case you're new to the show, by the way, the Rookie of the Day uh, each week does win an Olive Garden gift card. That's it's right. not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. We just thought it was hilarious. Oh man, Ben. Now we have another big uh, rookie person here. This is Jess. Jess. If you recall, pulled the Alt Art Lugia. If I recall. Yeah, of course. Of course. Pulled the Altar at Lugia back in season three to nearly take the title from Brooke, but couldn't quite mustered it out. Um, in the meantime, though, Jess is a hobby aquarist and a road cyclist, so I feel like, and, and apparently into Pokemon cards, so I feel like we 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 should all just hang out. Jess, we, we should probably we would probably just get along. Uh oh, and here comes know, Jess right out of the gate with, with the small, small of, of course, know, it's yeah. like a little bit of like a little bit of like a little mm -hmm. Olive Garden wink for you, the yeah. primate, the palmy, there we the go. tarantula. 
Uh, picnic basket, Bombardier. The Caps a kid. That will score. Really capitalizing hard. The Pokemon catcher will not in the. Quackwobble. Quackwobble. Bam. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Five. There five, you five, go. five. Yeah, two for the small of because it's got type advantage and randomly chosen common chase card. That's right. Amazing. Man, if we had pulled this pack in the last one, that actually didn't have a Tarantula in it, which was like still a spider type Pokemon, and it had the olive in there. Ooh. Ooh. Boy, boy, Alicia. Really flirting with it. <laughs> There's no doubt, there's no doubt. All right, next up, Ben, is Doe. Doe! Doe, who, of course, has a, plays the game as a family with her sons. Which I love, which I love. Yes, absolutely. So nothing I, nothing better than a family affair. There's no doubt, no doubt. Although, claims she doesn't know anything about Pokemon. Um, and let's see, is still looking for that, like, big pack. She's opened quite a few now through the course of the game. Let's see. Oh, the Dark Tree Drop. No dark salad at not, all not yet. Not one at all. There we go. The Zangoose, the Krogunk, the Dedenne, the Curlia, the Mabostif, the Common Miriam, Spirit Tomb, Reverse Rare Miriam, uh, the Chansey, and the Coridon. Oh, man. So, and this is our first single point pack of the oh. day. Let's look at the Coridon because we should write down the, the sense value for we our should single point. I know, we should just to be sure, see if we can't get a last place contender. It is worth mentioning that Doe also, uh, I'm sure we will hear about this, nine cents. Oh man, that so is pretty that low. might be. Pretty competitively low. Yeah, I don't know if that's uh, good enough for very last place just yet, but uh, it is, it's pretty low. Less than a dime. Not, it. not so bad. We we do play uh, one of the one of the tiers that we also have available over at patreoncom Gaming is gaming with us, where once a month you can uh, spend an hour playing video games with us and a couple other patrons who yeah. also support us at that tier. It's a great time. It is. We've been playing Mario Kart lately. We've been doing some Rocket League. It's, it's very fun. fun stuff. Yeah. Next up is Narwhal King. Narwhal, narwhal, swimming through the ocean, causing, causing a commotion, cause they are so awesome. Narwhals, narwhals. While swimming in the ocean. Nice. Thanks. Thanks. It's still it's it's been burned. It's my brain forever. Boom. Oh my gosh. I keep thinking like this has got to be. I know. It. I know. The Someone's further we go, the further we go. The Driftloon, the Citadel, the Varum, the Heracross scores, the Defiance Band, the Driftloom, the Torque. Oh, the oh, Don Dozo. That is a beautiful looking that card is a right cool there. Card. Look at oh that. My goodness gracious. And the Cryodon, which of course is worth nine cents. Okay. Let's uh, see. So that's going to be two points there. Let's see what the Don Dozo is worth. That is even worth $4.83, which wow. will round up to five. Five, six, seven points. Seven pack. points overall. But that's a really, honestly, I, I love that card. I'm a big fan of oh my fish. Gosh. Yeah, right. Uh, aquarium and fish and that's such. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. No doubt. Absolutely lovely. Okay, well, congratulations on that How one. How appropriate that Narwhal King gets big fish. I know, right? I mean, yeah. it almost looks like a Narwhal. Like almost. You just, like, you could, like, color in, like, a little tiny horn there, and you're, Maybe you're they should. got it. You know, yeah. just get one of your painter friends to draw a little horn on there. Yeah, one of your painter friends. Everybody's got one of those. Maybe Narwhal King is the painter. Maybe they'll just do it themselves. Could be. All right, next up is Chris. Chris. Chris who uh, had their rookie season last season with four points. They're training for their first marathon right now, just like you. Me too! Wow. Two weeks out, here we go. Gonna be crazy. Right. It's gonna be crazy, okay, let's see. And the eyeball energy, wow. so still Sat no the salad. Elusive salad. All right, we got the Hound Doom, we got the Fido, which Scatterbug definitely scores. got me falling in love with that. The Scatterbug will score, the Drifloon, the Florges, the Greedent, the Vivalon scores. Will score, the Rock Chestplate. Oh, oh Bombardier! The Full Art, though. That's such a cool one. That is a cool one. And oh, the Palma. All right, let's right. check out the Bombardier. Let's do it. Number 219 on the set. Boom. Let's see, 219 is going to be worth $2.17. We'll round up to $3. Three, four, five, six points. Total on the pack. Well done to Chris. Oh, here, let's grab a sleeve for that. Grab a sleeve for that. We'll just clean these up. Bam, bam. This was one of the, the cards that actually stood out to me when I was looking at the deck list prior to release date. I was like, that's a cool looking card. Yeah. I, I kind of like simple at times. Right? Elegant. Elegant indeed. All right, next up we have Enselman. Enselman! Right? Enselman finished, they've had some good finishes here. They finished 16 points, 17 points over the last two seasons. They own three shiny Paris, so they're good at hunting for shiny things. Like two shiny Parasects. And two shiny Parasects. Wow. That's impressive. That's a that bunch of shinies. I mean, Paris. about. I played a Paris and Parasect uh, deck to our local tournament this past weekend. Did you win? To great success. Yes, I did, Ben. Nice! Yes. Yeah, Congratulations! With, uh, I didn't even know that. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that with um, Hisuian Electrode, so if you want a really fun deck. 
can check that out. Uh, the Bisharp, the Silk Cobra, oh, the Real the, Blue. Did you not grab a, a oh, wait. energy? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Wouldn't it be funny okay. if that was the one? That would be so funny. There's metal. the Metal Energy. The Go-Go scores. The Penny does not. The Medi Shan, the Quaxwell. Staravia, Bombard, that's the more common looking Bombardier, and the King Gambit, so just going to be a uh, two point pack overall. Off to a solid start though, Enselman. There we go. You know, even these two pointers, they're like nothing to like scoff at either because uh, the, the last place one, it seems pretty possible people get above two points or three points by the end of it. it yes, it, extremely likely because you're always sort of weighing like who is gonna get the rare card each week, how much will things balance out. It is the case in certain instances where people who have pulled rare cards just continue to pull rare cards and it's like, what are the odds of this? They don't seem that great, but they're happening. Um, but Look at, at bare Margo. minimum, yeah, at bare minimum because you can't get zero points uh, and you have to open at least two packs in order to qualify for last place, it means two points is the lowest score you could conceivably have. Right, that's true, that's yes. true. All right, Ben, next up is Megan. Megan, Megan, Megan. Do people do that to you all the time? It must be so annoying I bet, I, named Megan. I know, I know. Yeah. If they know any millennials at all. There we go. All right, Which probably they do. Fireball energy. Man, there. I know. I cannot believe how few salad energies we've pulled. And, which is none. Which is none. Which is none. Okay, the real Lou, the Magneton, the Klawitzer, the Grievard, the Hypno, the Beach Court, the Sandaconda. Man, nothing going on in this pack. Flamingo. Oh, the Go Goat scores. The Go Goat does score, and yeah, the, does the Slow Bro. So you get the great artwork, Slow Bro. Yay! So another two point pack. That's our second in a row for Megan. Megan. Here we go. All right, off to a slow start, but that doesn't mean they can't have a big pack at some point in the future. Here we go. Next up is Aiden, uh, who loves chess and cricket. Hey! Boy, I, there's a game I don't know much about at all. It's cricket. Yeah, I don't you know, know the, the least bit. Like, people could, you know, and sometimes it's funny because, like, if you like sports, you, like, everything makes sense in your head, but... Like, to someone who doesn't know any of the, like, vernacular, that's how I feel when I listen to any amount of cricket whatsoever. Ben! There it is! Wow, and wouldn't you know it, it's for, Aiden's playing for the Team Salad here. Team Salad, who is team currently salad. just having an absolutely commanding lead. And now they're uh, also the only team to pull a Salad energy. They're having a great day. There it is. is. Oh, and there Boom. it is. Two Tarantula points. Tarantula already coming in clutch. The Nest Ball. Oh, no. Points. Here we go. Can they pull ahead even further? The Ultra Ball, the Clauncher, and the oh, Fuller Jacques! Oh my wow. goodness, so wow. Aiden comes to play for Team Salad. Everyone's like just get putting, they're just shining the spot where they're gonna put their pin. What, yeah, I was gonna say, what is going on with Team Grass right now? And because they're absolutely crushing it. They are. Uh, Jacques is gonna be worth $3.58. We'll That's round up to four, so four. it's an eight point. Right? Oh yeah, so yeah, so four. Right, four, five, six, seven. Times two. Times two is 14 points. 14 points, amazing, amazing. Oh, well done for uh, Aiden, let's put that in a sleeve yes. with a full art Jacques. At the very least, we'll also <laughs> tie you at the moment for that big Steve award, although that will be, uh, you just still have some packs left ahead of you, but you are currently uh, tied with Justin H, right above Big Steve, who has 11, and Justin has 14 as well. Of course, you'll both open two more packs, so it's right. unlikely that you remain in that spot, but you never know. All right, next up is Kelly K, and this is another contender for Rookie of the Day, Ben. They're looking to beat four points, if I'm not mistaken. That sounds right, yeah, All here, right. Let, me, let, me write, let me write that down, so mm -hmm. Kelly K. Right, and I believe it's your turn to open. Okay. I'll All right, it. Kelly has loved Pokemon since she was a kid, but just started playing the card game recently with her husband uh, and three-year-old son, Jameson. It is it is amazing to me how like Pokemon still feels like something, the lightning bolt energy there, uh, it still feels new, but it's wild to me that like us included have loved this as kids and continue yeah. to love it to this day. I know. Like it's wild. Like I don't know yet, very few franchises have like had such staying power and continued popularity. Yes. Uh, there we go. So Scovelin, the score mm -hmm. there, the Flabebe. Not score, the Thanks EXP score sure. will not. And, and the Annihilate. Annihilate. One of my favorite new names of a Pokemon. It is a pretty Annihilate. good one, yeah. Especially, it feels and like the, the natural trajectory of Primeape. Yeah, so. Primeape. Annihilate. Annihilate. It only took us 20 years to get there. There you go. All right, so that's just a three point pack. So Kelly K, unfortunately, not going to land the Olive Garden gift card. Still going to Rozzy, is that right? How many points was that? I'm sorry, three? Three. Three points, okay, yes. yes. Rozzy is still holding on to that Olive Garden gift card with four points, which Man. honestly, I just gotta say, our rookies this week are doing better than the rookies last week, where it was like a seven way tie yes. with one point each. It was like, 
What is going on right yeah, now? These week two rookies are uh, they're really showing they are. They're really they really putting on a spectacle today. Next up is Chris K for uh Team Fire. Uh makes band merch for a living. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Alright, bam, they got that teardrop energy. The scatterbug is gonna score for him. The sprigatito is gonna score for him. It's like our toad scroll, tandem out shroomish. Four, so many. Four points without even getting to the rares proper. Boom, and, and then it's gonna be annihilate. another annihilate. So Five points five in a pack points. that otherwise would have been worth like one. One. So wow. really putting the type advantage uh, through its paces today. Absolutely. Uh, scoring some uh, much needed points for Team Fire at this point. Right, I know. Fire sitting, I guess they were in second. Fire was in second. Yeah, really we got to watch out for those electricity folks because they're sitting at 22 points with their team score, which is just, it's a little abysmal. I mean, so I don't want to say it's embarrassing. So we won't. Anyway, next up is Alyssa, another Team Fire player. All right, Team Fire, let's see what we got. All right, what Alyssa team would you be on, incidentally? Oh man, uh, my favorite, my favorite type in Pokemon. Mm, I think I do like Fire a lot. Fire. Oh yeah. yeah. There we go. Oh, got there we go. The Salad, Salad energy. energy. Let's see if Alyssa can score big. Let's see. We got the Mass Shift, the Ponyard, the Wiglet, the, the Toad, Toad School, School scores, Score, yep. Star Raptor, the Katie, the Wogtrio, the Pomo will not score, the Drifloon will not score, and the Professor's There's Research. research. Will, will barely will score. Barely so score, it's gonna so. be a, what two times two four four points. Four yeah. point pack. It's, you know, and it's it's such a bummer because I feel like we've had so many great packs today, and we've had so few salad energies, mm. and they just had stars have not aligned. They have not aligned, indeed. There we go. Yeah. So typically when I start the game, I almost always go with the grass starter. So you'd think I'd be Team Grass. Um, I did go through with Coco. I would have. I would have thought you were Team Grass. Actually. Yeah, yeah. There was that. But then like a lot, of, I was going through it, and I found a, a lot of my favorite Pokemon are Fire. Even though my most favorite Pokemon is Scyther, which is Bug slash Flying, but it's definitely not Flying type. So um, any any combination of um, Fire, Bug, and Dark, I tend to like a lot. Okay. Okay. Yeah, those okay. are my those are my three. I feel like I I can never really truly really decide. Sometimes I feel like I I, I think. I think I went Squirtle first. Oh yeah, the first time ever, maybe. Uh, so so maybe Team Water. I, I do I do like water. I'm a Scorpio. Yeah, I mean, yeah that's a water sign. That is, is it? Okay. I, I All think right. You so. own an I aquarium so. company. I do own an aquarium company. So that's pretty watery. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. It's so. Hard. But your favorite Pokemon is Fira. Fira, right? which is none of those. Yeah, it's yeah. like normal flying. Normal so. flying. All right, but next up we have Abba, who uh, probably the band. Uh, Prob it's probably spelled that way. Um, they are from Montana, and this is their rookie of the day. This, this is, is their this is their rookie pack right here. Can Ra they do it? Rozzy's sitting there with the sweaty palms. Woo! All right, all right, uh, there. Okay. The Dolive for the yeah, Olive Garden. The Olive, can yeah, it? Yeah. Can they get above four points with this pack? The Bombardier, the Hypno, the Beach Court, the Medichan, the Fubacoco scores, and the Arbolina scores. Oh, but is it going to be enough? No, it's just three points. It is just three points. I thought that I wow. thought the Dolive was going to be worth an extra for the randomly chosen common chase, but, but that's, that's the smallest. So even though they score, they draw two. Two olive-themed Pokemon to score points. They do not get to go to the Olive Garden. Wow. Sorry wow. about that. Wow, 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 wow. It's like it was a tease. That was. Like a proper tease. That's hilarious, man. Can you imagine if they'd gotten the small of in there and that was the deal breaker? Ah, that would have been amazing. Been amazing. But instead it's not. All right, next up is Hyrotis. Hyrotis. All right, all let's right. see. What does Hyrotis got here? They finished, uh, they've, they've been kind of all over the place. They finished one season with nine, then 14, then down to four. You never know what you're gonna get. No. You never know what you're gonna get. Sure All knows. right, uh, so Toddle, yep. the Magikarp, the Magnemite, the Energy Switch, the Oink Cologne, the Breloom that will scores. score, the Kilowatt Troll, I don't think I've seen many of those so far, mm. Team Star Grunt will not score. Another Breloom. Yep, that one will, and the Armor Rouge. Armor Rouge! Armor Rouge! Which go. reminds me of uh, Under Rouge. Under Rouge! Civil War, so three points. Uh, every single time I read it, I always just think Underoos. Yeah, so maybe right. I'm just gonna start calling it that. Maybe Armor is Spider-Man. Maybe. It's, it's, we're having a big Spider-Man theme day. There's no doubt. It feels I, like it feels like something must be coming. Again. This happens occasionally where we get the same card and two. But this feels like it should be worth something. I don't know if we need to introduce that big game mechanic at some point. But, but if you something. pull the same card twice in the same pack, that feels like it should be something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a tag team advantage. Right. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, the tag team advantage. I already like the sound of that. All right, Ben. Next up is Mbug. Mm -hmm. Bug or M bug? It's hard to say. They didn't. They did not specify. Just M bug. Mm, bird. All right. Uh, apparently, the parents gave them the name M bug. Likes to cross stitch and read. Huh? How fun! And it's fun. <coughs> Excuse me. The nickname that our dad gave me was Jammer. 
Like, Bam. Like Ben Jam. I'm ben Jammer. Yeah, mine was J. Lou. Maybe if I ever start a, a one-man band, I'll just be called Jammer. 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 That sounds great. Yeah. You guys seen Jammer tonight? Jammer, you guys want to see Jammer? You guys gonna see him jam? All right, Crocolore, the Citadel. Oh, the, oh, I don't know why I thought that was full art. It's clearly so not. excited. Oh, oh Armor Rouge! Under Rouge! Under Rouge. All right, but we should look up the value of that Armor Rouge because this might be another contender for uh, last place. I know. This you always you want to know. Uh, eight cents. So eight a cents. great contender. Lowest for last place. score today wow. for Umbug. Very impressive for Umbug. There you go. So uh, Doe definitely not in last place at the moment with her uh, Coriodon. Whoops. Pull Whoops! Back up there, ba bam, ba bam. Next up, we've got oh man, F long time last place contender is Data Rage. Data Rage has been known for sort of tripping in the finish line, though. You know, she's been in line for in last place way. a couple of times. In the best way, right? I mean, the, the, I'll bring you some history. Her okay. first back ever, zero points. Yep. Followed by a single point after that, Amazing. and then pulled the Lugia V, 14 points, no good. <sighs> then had a pack that was looking like it was going to be a total zero, ended up being 35. So, here's the eyeball energy. It's a good start. It's a great start. It's a great start. And she's I one think, for last again, or maybe she switched her strategy up. I think that in our step competition over on Patreon right now, she's part of Team, I, team Eyeball Energy. Okay. So, good omen. Good omen. Okay, let's Got see. the Sand Dial, the Hound Doom, the Fido, the Scatterbug, Scatterbug scores. Will score, the Judge, the Float Soul will score. We haven't seen a lot of those today. Team Star Grunt. The Slowpoke will not score. The Drowsy will not score. And the, the Mascarada. All right, so three points. Three points. It will not be two points for oh, the you're right. advantage. Actually, you're right. Then. So four points total. Four points total. There you go. Data Rage maybe going for more of a middle of the pack sort of situation. Four points feels like a good spot to be in for like the Big Steve situation. It does. It does. Yeah. Because again, yeah. Big Steve currently sit with eleven. So if they can just if if Data can just get four points each time, that'll put you in a quality quality 12 points overall, quality which currently nobody has. Right, and that's what you want for Big that's Steve. you want! Right. Then next up we have Berkeley Comstock, who is uh, just coming off their rookie season. They scored two points, so this is their first uh, first pull of the- You're up, you're up. Oh, oh, I opened for data last. For I'm data? so sorry. I'm All right, I, I got a little sense too. It came from my side, for what it's worth. So if it's a good pack, credit me. If it's not, then credit Jay, because he's the one who opened it. But I opened it, it so. It's obviously his fault. Yeah, let's see. That. Let's Bam! Bam. Oh, okay, Dark Teardrop. Dark teardrop. Not a good start. Not a good start the whatsoever. Quadrant, the Skidoo scores. The Heracross scores. See, I told you it was going to be a great pack. Because it come from my side. Oh, I the knew gold it. Maridon! I knew it. You're so and welcome. the Clough. Clough. All right, so obviously the Maridon is the big scorer in the pack. Let's see, that's awesome. This is one of the most competitive cards out right now. It is super fun to play with. Always, almost always start strong. The question is, can you carry that acceleration into the late game, which sometimes is where it stumbles. Okay, so number 253 on the yep. set is worth $20, 16 cents. We'll round up to $21. All right, so 21, 22, 23, 24. 24, this is just what uh, Electric Type needed, who came into the day with a grand total of 22 points as a team. Wow, so this, Berkeley alone has doubled uh, Electric's starting points. So uh, has now been nominated as team captain. Wow. Wow. Of, of, yeah, so it's very exciting. Y'all can, can determine that amongst yourselves. But, you can, you know. but like I have, I'm, I'm thinking like I'm thinking Berkeley's your your play. Pretty good, pretty yeah. solid, right? That there. That is absolutely beautiful. Congratulations, exciting card awesome. headed your way. Some gold ride on. Haven't pulled that one myself. All right, next up, Ben is Reagan. Let's see if uh, Reagan also playing for Electric and is playing for Rookie of the Day. Let's see if they can carry the momentum of the Maridon into the next pack. Let's see. Let's Surge see. forward with electricity. This has been a great a great box so far. It has, yeah. They, we've had the Gold Maridon. If you just opened this one, you'd have gotten the Gold Maridon and the Full Art Miriam. I know, yes, yeah, absolutely. That's wild. So that would be that would be so great. All right, we got the fireball energy right there. We got the the Starly, the Flittle, the Shroom will score, score, the Mankey, the Sandaconda, the Katie, the Staraptor, the Small Liv will score. Double points. Yes, double yeah. points. Ralts will not score, and the Professor's Research. research. So this is going to be a four-point pack, if four I'm not point mistaken. Four-point pack. Was that a was that a new? Oh, game? this is a rookie, so this is a this is a potential tie. Oh, okay. All right, so, so we need to do rare card value. Let's see what the research was worth. Yeah, let's take a look here. So, so Reagan, right? Reagan. Yes. 
Okay, we looked it up, and Rozzy actually had two rare cards, but they only totaled 15 cents combined, whereas Reagan, with their single professor's research, got it to 19 cents. So at the moment, Reagan is the new leader for Rookie of the Day. Sorry to Rozzy, but you know, you gotta do your research sometimes. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, what what I see what you did there. I see what you did there. And in case you guys are ever curious how we determine the tiebreakers, we refer to it as the TRCV, which stands for Total Rare Card Value. So even though Rozzy did have the Nest Ball, which is actually worth a couple of points, it's technically not a rare card, which means that it didn't get to contribute to Rozzy's overall score. Right. And in this particular case. In this particular case. That being said, next up is Carly, who's another rookie of the day and oh might my. play spoiler for everybody. Oh so my gosh. Maybe we might have looked up a bunch of stuff for no reason. Is it your turn? We'll go with we'll that. Go, all we'll right. go with that. Yeah, we'll go with that. Carly. I know. All right, Carly, we got this. Let's see. Let's see. What can we do? Can we get more than four points, or are we going to do some more math? All right, we got the teardrop. The teardrop. We got the drift. Uh oh, that's a that's good a, start. Yeah, it's a great it's start. It's a Viper, Lucario, the rock chest plate. Haircross uh, is a hair good, cross, of course, too. Yeah, but Fido will not and score oh, the, the Magnazone. Oh, but I think that's only worth, is that just a single point card, though? It might be. Oh, my goodness oh, gracious. So they're going to okay. get the Magnazone, but might only get three points anyway. Let's, let's double check this to be 100% <coughs> sure with number 65 on the set is the Magnazone. 76, 76 cents. 76 cents. Oh, no. That's wow. such a so bummer. It's, a, it's a better looking three points than anybody's had in their four points. Yeah. But, but unfortunately, still only going to be three points, so not enough for rookie of the day, Carly. Well played, though. Well played. Well played. Well played. We thought we we thought we saw you coming. We did. Next up, men, is Ariel Stormborn. Stormborn. Right. Eevee is her favorite Pokemon. Hey. Yeah. That's Eevee. Just standard Eevee. Standard Eevee. I think that's Luke's favorite Pokemon as is well. It? At the moment. Yeah. Do you think of Eevee more as a dog or a cat? I think it is intentionally supposed to look like both, but like when you look at like Espeon, that looks like extremely cat-like, you know? Espeon does. Yeah. Somebody but Jolteon mean, feels kind of dog-like. Yeah, you're right. I mean, it's, it's very ambiguous. Um, anyway, Eclectricity for Ariel Stormer. Let us know what you guys think. Eevee, more of a cat or more of a dog? All right, Magnemon, Tarantula scores, Pokemon Catcher, Clauncher, Florges, Greedent, the Coridon does score. Okay. The Defiance Band does not. Oh, and another Coridon! How wow! About that? Okay. There you go, double Coridons. That's cool. What is this one uh, going to be worth? Let's see, number 125 on the set is the the big one we're looking at there. Dollar seven, so it does get you up a little point there. So, two, two, three, four. Four points. Four points total. Goodness me, it's too bad that wasn't uh, for Rookie of the Day because that probably would have put you at least in first for oh. that competition. Actually, we need the sleeve for that card. Oh, yep, hang on one second. Shows wham. Shows wham. If I'm not mistaken, there are four different printings of Coridon in this set. Uh, or Coridon EX in this set. I really like went all in on that one, huh? I really did. Um, let's see, next up we have. Uh, Shaman Nomo. Shaman Nomo. You think that, that means that they were a Shaman, but not Nomo? Shaman Nomo. Y yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's see here. So this pack actually came from the, uh, the, the carryover ETBs. So it's not oh, from okay. the booster box. So oh. like all the all the stats and the odds and everything that we Who's know and say? love, they're all out the window. And it feels like a dense pack. Uh -oh. It feels. Lends up a hand feel. It feels like a dense pack. All right. So let's see here. So the fireball, fireball energy, energy right off the top. We got the Casper kid, right? Yep. That'll score. A little mola. Not even gonna go for that one, huh? No, no, I was like. Mm. If I ever get quiet, it's like I just gave up. Stone Journer, the Penny, the Medicham, the Squawkabilly does like a, not score. Do you think score. it's an Elvis themed card? I think so. Squawkabilly? Maybe, maybe. Yeah. look at the little hair, like little the, hair there. the cloth. Yeah. The Chansey uh, will not score, and the Palmot. So it was not It was not as heavy of a pack as wow, I thought. Man. Just a single three points there. All faith has now been lost Lost in my, my hand scales. Your hand feels, wow. I'm so sorry about that. Jeez, Ben. It's more embarrassing for me than you, honestly. Next year, you're gonna tell me the guys in the back are made up, too. They are not. All right. They're totally real. Okay. Kind of screaming. I can, I can vaguely hear them back there. <laughs> Next up, we have Heather Lynn. We should really let them out sometimes. You know? What are they gonna... I don't have anything to do except telepathically read card packs, apparently. <laughs> yeah, that's all they do. That's all they do. Spend all their time. 
<laughs> You're good at it. Yeah, one job. Yeah, one job. Wow! Is. You bring them up and boy, they deliver. They deliver. All right, so Heather Lynn can Heather Lynn deliver with her salad type advantage. We got the caps oh, again, man, so that looks pretty too. good. Amazing, amazing Weasel, start. Wug Trio, the, the Judge, the Houndor, the Pawnard, and the Skeleton. Oh. So unfortunately, just going to be a four point pack. And what he means by four point pack is wasted opportunity. A wasted opportunity, I'm afraid. Sorry, Heather, about that. But uh, I guess you're wondering, that's one, two times two is four. So there you go, with the caps of kid. Either way, you got a Skeledurge. That's, you know, the Fubu Coco final evolution. So it's pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, next up, Ben, we've got Maddie. Maddie! Maddie, who looks to be, if I'm looking at their past, another player who tries to aim for last place. They finished um, season three with zero points, but that was off only a single pack, so they did not qualify for last place. They right, might right. have had it. Season yeah. four, two points. So let's see how they do. Let's see how they do. So we've got the teardrop energy, so no no major multipliers right off the top. We've got the Toxel, the Ralts, the Growlithe, the Shuppet, the Picnic Basket, the Bombardier, the Hypno, the Slowpoke will not score, the, the Dolive will does. score, and, and the, the Cyclozar. So once again, Maddie going for that two points, nice and low. Gonna try and get to last Last place here, you know, there's right, only right. one route to that particular victory, and that's to be um, last. Yeah, you're doing yeah. great so far. Doing I mean, great, a, a, a truly, uh, a truly grand opportunity. And not many people have two points, so I right. think you can also wear that as a badge of honor. Oh man, Ben, we got another potential rookie here. Okay. It's Shalini. 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 This is their. Uh, let's see, they need to beat four points, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes. All right, can Shalini play spoiler? This is our last rookie of the day, so this will determine who wins it. This is it for all the, the proverbial marbles. Indeed, here we go. Bam, and oh, dark teardrop. Dark teardrop. So okay. no extra help there. You're gonna have to do it all on their cards. The Wiglet, the Judge, nothing the so far. Scores. scores, there you go. Miriam, Alola Mola. Oh! oh, they're definitely gonna get there, Ben. That is, they're gonna get there in spades because that is the Alt Art Coridon. That is gonna be worth some uh, big points, as is the Spide Op, which just gets the type advantage as well. I think right. Shalini is heading to the Olive Garden. Let's see, so the, the Spide Ops is worth 70 cents. Okay, so that's just a single point, but okay. it's actually two points because it's got the grass. Right, okay, uh, so we'll the come back The will be worth one as well. So that's three right there. And then what's the Coridon? That's number 247. 247, oh, I accidentally. Boy. Let's see here, number 247 on the set is worth $38.42. Mm -hmm. What is this box? Like 39 uh, plus three is gonna be 42 points. And, wow. And that was for Team Grass? That was for Team Grass. Goodness oh, gracious, Salad they Energy is annihilating. It. They are doing oh. so good. This box contained a gold rare Maridon, an alt art Coridon, and the Trader Gallery Miriam. So this is like, this is easily the best box of cards we've opened from Scarlet and Violet thus far, uh, personally or on the show. That is an awesome card right there. Well, absolutely done incredible. To Shalini, another man. Seriously, again, last week's rookies. I'm sorry, you didn't really bring it. This week's rookies really came to play. Absolutely came to play. And there you go. Here, like the, the Olive Garden, the passage of the sticks. Here we go. I'm as it were. That. I'm gonna put that right there. Boom. And uh, that's coming to you, Shalini. Amazing, congratulations. Well Enjoy. Enjoy. Enjoy your breadsticks. You know, I love this. Uh, someone who won the breadsticks last month, yeah. or last week rather, was uh, lived in Brazil yeah. and had a family member who lives in the States somewhere and was like, can you send it to my cousin instead? So we did! Oh, that's so fun! I know, it worked out really well. Man, I want, if look, if, you, if you're Rookie of the Day and you do go and get, <laughs> the, use your gift card, please send us a picture. Or tag With us your or card, something. bring your card. Yes. That'd be amazing. Yes. Oh my gosh, like set it, it up like a, little, like a little easel next to you, be like, <laughs> yes. me and... Goodness me. All right, this is our last player of the day. It's uh, Nick Meneguzo, Nick who collects Meneguzo. Lego and Pokemon cards, and obviously. Pokemon cards, obviously. Let's All see. Right. Can they uh, pull something crazy here? I can't imagine how much better this box could get. But uh, maybe it's just the best box of all time. That's maybe. the Rockus Pummeling the right there. The Pummeling Energy, the Houndor, go, the Satoddle, the, the Magikarp, the Magnemite, the Flaffy, the Youngster, the Blissey, the Bi Sharp will not score. The, the Pinko will score. Oh, and the Iron Dread. Wow. The heck? This had, it also had, just in case we forgot, it also had now full art Iron Treads and full art Great Tusk, which are, of course, uh, the uh, primordial forms of. Um, what's his butt? Right on? Nope. No. 
I just had to guess. Don Fan. Don Fan. The, the, my obviously. next guess, obviously. Yeah. Um, okay, so the Iron Treads, while absolutely beautiful, does come in at $1.93. So to three points total. Three points total. For Nick Metaguzo, but you get the awesome Iron Treads card. Well done. Man, I feel like Man. we went through some sleeves today, which what is my a goal. Box. That, what a box! That was an amazing box. That was an amazing box. And I do think Team Grass is just like they're like the jocks on the yard yeah. right now. You know? Like, mm -hmm. like I mean, just they're just slapping they're, five. They're stuffing the other energies into lockers. <laughs> I mean, there's no doubt about it. Things you never would have expected. But um, no, honestly, that was an amazing box all the way around. That was a lot of fun. I hope that you guys enjoyed it as well. We are really just kicking off. Everybody's just opening. Their True. first packs of the season, so there's so much game left to be played as we go through a three-month season. I know this is only this isn't even every, not even every player has entered the game yet. Not man. yet, not yet. Yeah. Um, we do know that currently over on Patreon we are completely sold out uh, for availability. If you would like to get it to be uh, a part of the box breakers tier, we do have a wait list that we have set up. So if you are really interested in uh, signing up, if anybody were to drop, be sure to check the link in the description down below. There's just a quick Quick Google form. The only email we would ever send you is just heads up. There is availability at this point in time. No other emails will ever be sent to you. So if you want to check that out, if you want to get in in the future when there is an open spot, be sure to check that out. But guys, otherwise, thank you so much for your support. Until next time. Bye.